Hello, I'm Tim Crow. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. Welcome to another match review on the channel. The games have been coming quick and fast over the festive period. Hope everyone had a happy new year. Norwich won, Crystal Palace won absolutely gutted. And that game, I mean, how many times can I continuously say, sums up our season and, you know, after each passing week with Norwich City unable to get a win, you kind of more and more resign that Norwich City are going to be heading back down to the Championship. And it's really gutting because Palace, I definitely think there's an opportunity to win this game, especially handsomely. I thought we had the better chances uh, and, and deserved and deserved the win. But Crystal Palace, a team who are in the Premier League, they've spent several seasons in the Premier League and a team who are at the top end of the table, not because they have particularly creative players or are an amazing team, but they have a resilience and, and they can get goals and they can compete at this level. Uh, they defended well and then uh, Connor Wickham of all players uh, scores to make it 1-1. And as I said, we're probably resigned now to resign to the uh, to the championship although Watford have shown that you can with just a few wins and a few games you can turn your whole season around and we are playing good football but over this whole month we've been continuously playing good football and haven't won it in, in December you know so many fantastic performances um against Arsenal in the last I mean, the last five games Arsenal at home winning at half time Wolves at home winning at half time Sheffield United at home winning at half time Tottenham at home winning at half time and guess what we're doing today winning at home at half time Todd Campbell scoring a really nice goal and all those games we haven't won I think we what, lost two of them and drew three and that's why we're going down because we our second half was performances been poor and in the championship we was fantastic in the second half we'd be we, I think the first half of the championship last season we started terribly. Um, but, you know, we scored so many late goals last season and this season our second half performance has been poor. Do you blame it to Farker? Maybe the game management has been poor sometimes. I mean, Tottenham and Crystal Palace have both scored late goals today to deny us the win. So you could argue it's game management. Um, it's, it's, it's tough, isn't it? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below because, as I said, Norwich have been great this month. Let, let's, let's, let, after we beat Man City to November, we were crap. I think we only got one point from eight or nine games. But the last December... Every single every single game we we could have easily have got something from um probably a barring Southampton so I'm really disappointed and the game starts well interestingly both goals um with the introduction of VAR I mean it continues to have it have, have, have continue to have a debate about VAR um Todd Cantwell scores every Wendy who's the best player on the pitch yet again um assists Todd Cantwell but because he looked slightly offside there was none there was no, not a lot of celebrations Todd Cantwell kept checking the screen but the goal did stand. Uh, and the lineman was right to not put his flag up. So there it shows VAR taking the celebrations out of the game. And Crystal Palace, you know, had a couple of good chances. They got in behind us a couple of times. Crystal Zimmerman made a couple of good blocks, uh, although he was quite poor today. Um, but Norwich City were probably slightly the better team. Definitely had the better chances. Uh, Pukki going through one-on-one, -on -one, but some great defending from Tomkins and Arams. Very, very close to making it 2 0. And you're just saying to Norwich that it's, it's going to be, you, you feel like it's going to be the same old story because we're, we're not able to take our chances. And then the second half, we continue to create some really good chances. Emmy Boindier from a free kick comes so close and great to make a fantastic save. Probably that could be a defining moment yet again in our season because I think that was going in if it wasn't for a great save. Kenny McLean in his hits the crossbar. Uh, and you're just thinking it's, it might, might not be our day. I think. Whilst Norris City created some really good chances in this game, Crystal Palace did probably have more possession and they did have more of a contained threat. They did have you know, quite a few corners. They had a lot of ball kind of in our half. And Norris City in that second half, we struggled to really hold the ball. And, um, you know, we only hit them on the counter-attack, really. But we had to make it 2 though. We didn't. Crystal Palace then in the 85th minute, Zaha uh, turns Max Ahrens, puts the ball across the six-yard box and exits for man. Connor Wickham scores. However, the flag goes up for offside. Um, they do the VAR check and then it shows that it is a goal and Wickham was just onside um, and, the, and the goal stands. And that's where VAR is probably good because if you're Norwich and, and, and let's say last season... Um, we scored it. We scored a goal. The ref puts his flag up, and it and it wasn't offside. You'd be fuming. So that's where VAR does, does have its merits. But the way in terms of the amount of delays this season and how so many just small decisions in which it doesn't look offside have gone against people. That, that that's what I think people's main frustrations are. Um, look, Norwich won. Crystal Palace won. Of course, Norwich City can still turn it around. But with every passing game, it doesn't look likely. And I think just December's just sums it up. We've played some fantastic football this season. With the injuries come back, we've really looked like we've turned a corner. As I said, these five five games, five recent home games, we've been winning them at half time, but failed to win at full time. And that's why Norwich City aren't going to stay up. Probably due to a bit of lack of game management, some errors from defenders, for example, Zinnemann's tackle against Tottenham. Um, 
Yeah, I'm absolutely gutted because I think Norwich City sh should have a lot more points on the ball, but we do de deserve to be 20 for a reason. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts down below. Norwich in the FA Cup next uh, on uh, on the weekend against Preston. Let's hope we can have a good FA Cup run. Keep believing, although with every passing week, with Norwich City unable to hold out for three points, it's looking more unlikely. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Norwich City Central, and I'll see you later.